Hey comrade, great question. So yes, the German experience did give us great insight as to the role that social democracy and social democrats play in fascism. If you haven't heard the term social fascism, give it a Google. And also Google who killed Rosa Luxemburg. It was actually the Social Democratic Party of Germany that ordered the uh, hit on Rosa Luxemburg and Karl, I don't want to destroy his last name, who were German communist leaders at the time. And I'm going to post a link to an interview in 2019 where a leader from the Social Democratic Party of Germany actually essentially defended the assassination of Rosa and Karl and essentially said that they would do the same thing today. So the social democratic leadership has not learned from history. Getting back to your question, let's listen to what Stalin had to say. Stalin says, firstly, it is not true that fascism is only the fighting organization of the bourgeoisie. Fascism is not only a military technical category. Fascism is the bourgeoisie's fighting organization that relies on the active support of social democracy. Social democracy is objectively the moderate wing of fascism. Stalin goes on to say about social democracy and fascism. These organizations do not negate but supplement each other. They are not antipodes, they are twins. Fascism is the informal political block of these two chief organizations and which is intended for combating the proletarian revolution. The bourgeoisie cannot retain power without such a block. It would therefore be a mistake to think that pacifism signifies the liquidation of fascism. In the present situation, situation Pacifism is the strengthening of fascism with its moderate social democratic wing pushed into the forefront. And Georgi Dimitrov says, At the time when the Russian workers and peasants overthrew the landlords and capitalists, all the necessary objective conditions were at hand in Central Europe for the European and particularly the German proletariat taking the path of the Soviet workers and peasants. But this did not take place. It did not take place mainly because the decisive word at the time and the leadership of the mass organizations of the proletariat belonged to the leaders of the social democratic parties who had been in coalition with their own imperialist bourgeoisie from the outbreak of the war. I'll put a link into the description.